morning. How y'all doing out there? Today, oh y'all, excuse my head. Just excuse my head. It's still morning time, y'all. So, I got to do some cleaning on today. And I want to bring y'all along with me. I will be talking about the bed bugs and doing shout outs at the end of this video. So, you do not want to miss that. So, please stay tuned. I'm going to start with my refrigerator. Now, yesterday I did clean my refrigerator out. But... I didn't wipe it down, so I'm going to wipe it down on today. So stay tuned for all of that, if you will. If you have not already hit that subscribe button, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it so you will not miss another video from me, okay? Y'all, we're going to get down to the nitty gritty about these bed books, so you don't want to miss that. So please stay to the end of this video. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so this is how my refrigerator is looking. I hadn't cleaned it in a minute. Yes, I, I'm not ashamed uh, because I do keep it clean. Um, but it does get dirty, like, when people waste stuff in here, and it's like, no, like, what, what are y'all doing? Uh, can y'all please wipe it up once y'all spill it? But, y'all, we can get to the gritty and go ahead and start cleaning this out. I'm going to take these and get these cleaned up as well. And this one, I had a hard time getting this out the last time. Uh, to get this thing clean so I'm going to take all of this out right here and just start cleaning I'm going to clean all of this area all everything y'all so you don't want to miss it So while I'm cleaning this, I'm going to let this dry while I'm cleaning out the refrigerator and all of that. So that's why I'm doing this part first, getting all of the, everything that I've taken out of the refrigerator cleaned off first. So I can give it, let it dry while I'm over there cleaning out my refrigerator. So yeah, that is what I'm doing on today. I said, let me get on here and let y'all see me clean up this refrigerator again. I usually do this every Tuesday, but y'all, I have not been doing it every Tuesday because it would not look that bad if I did. Um, but I'm going to get back to doing it every Tuesday like I'm supposed to so I won't have that issue, y'all. I don't like the dirty refrigerator. It just does something to me. So I'm like, I got to get this done, y'all. I'm just gonna, well, I'm, I did say I was going to let it dry, but I'm going to go ahead and take this towel and dry it off. Why not? Dry it off. Go ahead and get this big one out the way, y'all. This big old thing here. Uh, put some soap on there. Look how you get it just come right off. good and clean that look. Let that dry. Finish drying over here. And then I'm gonna get to this right here. All 
I got a lot of soap in this one, so I'm going to use it. Getting more soap. Somebody spilled some soda in here. And I know who it was because you drink soda? I don't, I don't drink like soda at all. My daughter don't either, really. I don't, she don't drink soda like that. My husband, I drink lots of soda. And I'm like, you leave that alone. It ain't good for you. Anyway. So I hope y'all are having a great day out there on today. Um, it's still morning. It's well as going on 12, so it's going to be out. It's going to be noon. So anyway, let me go on and get this done. I woke up a little late this morning. Because on Friday, y'all, I'll be, I be waking up late. But during the week, I get up around about 8 o'clock in the morning every morning. Because I have like a routine that I do every morning. Especially with my businesses stuff like that. So I have a routine. I follow that routine. But on Friday, honey, I don't do nothing but prepare for next week. So I just kind of ride that Friday out a little bit. Just stay in bed a little bit. Just a little bit longer. Till about nine. Nine is at the most of us. I have to get up, take my medicine. All of that. So I'm like, no, it's time to get up. Get up. I, I'm not the one. I can't stand the bed, y'all. I can't. I gotta get up and be doing something. So I got this all cleaned out, dried, and it wasn't as that. It wasn't that hard this time either because it wasn't. You know, look. If I if it had took me a whole whole long time, then this thing would have been so filthy. But it wasn't, and I'm so happy it wasn't that dirty. I'm gonna put a little bit of soap on this one because I'm pretty sure the soap went out a little bit there. Just got some red juice like at the bottom of it. We, we probably be in it. We like to drink juice. So I can't blame my husband for that one. <laughs> yes. Then I'm going to clean my microwave out. You need to do that every Friday. But I did do the glass part. I'm just going to go around it a little bit because I did clean that out yesterday. So I'm going to go around the outside of it real good. Just want to make sure you're doing that. The microwave has to stay clean as well. I don't like putting my food in no dirty microwave. Like, what's the point? I'm, I'm about ready to do away with wife microwaves all together. Because this one is messing up, and I'm just tired. They all be starting to mess up, and I'm just tired of microwave, y'all. I'm going to stop this popcorn effect. I'm trying to get my food warm all quick. No, put it in the oven. Let it, let it warm up that way or get me a toast oven. Something like that, y'all. Because this... Ugh. Sometimes I don't even feel right microwaving my food. Like, no, like, I just want to just put it in the oven or something. Let it warm up that way. I think it'll be better to let it warm up that way. So we got that all done. This is the best way to do it, to go ahead and get this part out the way. I usually don't do it this way. I usually go ahead and start cleaning out the refrigerator. But I think it's best to do it this way. It makes it much quicker and easier. Because all you have to do is go in and um, wipe down the um, wipe down the refrigerator. Last time, y'all, was worse than this. I thought I had this thing recording, and I didn't, y'all. But anyway. When you wipe them out, when you clean them out, you don't have as much trouble as you had the last time. Last time, it was really bad. Now, 
eyes looking good. Boy, I think it should look. so much better y'all I'm telling you like look at that all cleaned up down there look at that yes So this is how it's looking, y'all. Yes, yes, and yes, it looks very, very good now. I'm so happy about that. Microwave look. Y'all, excuse me, I was just doing my thumbnail. Let me bring this up some. I'm so, so excited. Welcome back to Me Talk TV. It's Rena. I'm so happy that you are joining me on today. Today, I have some shout outs for you on today. I'm so, so excited, y'all. Thank you all for your um, your comments and questions, all of that. They will be answered on today if I have any to answer. Um, and like I said, I love to come and do y'all shout outs and everything like that. But first, we're going to get started. For you who are new out here, welcome. And for you who have been following me for a long time, I mean, some of y'all been following for some years. Thank you so much and welcome back. Okay, so here we go. The first three steps to getting rid of bed bugs. Listen, I know you want to know if you are new out there, you want to know how to get rid of them. Um, the first thing you need to do is get your hands on that steamer that I've been talking about all the time. Um, the steamer kills them on contact. And you also need your alcohol and your baking soda, which kills them over time. So listen, you need to get your hands on that. It kills their eggs and all because it dries out their foundation. So you want to make sure that you are doing it. I'm trying to I'm sorry, I'm trying to get back on my computer, which went to sleep on me, y'all, um, and get this pulled back up because I want to make sure that I have my um, my comments up for y'all so I can go ahead and tell y'all what the comments are um, and do some shout-outs on today, okay? I'll be right back. This bottle of water right here. I want to show y'all what we ordered, y'all, and it is absolutely amazing. I'm so, so happy because we're you're going to need this around this time, y'all. This right here is what we ordered. And y'all, I promise you, it did not cost that much. Um, and so we'll be getting all the water that we want. And also, it came with these the, these waters as well. Um, and an extra thing of water, y'all. Look at that, y'all. So we're supposed to have three of those, but one of them fell on the accident. Um, but I'm so, so excited. Look at all of this water, y'all. So, if y'all want to order any of this, the thing as well, um, so you won't have to be going to the store all the time to get water. Um, this is just absolutely amazing. The only thing we need to do is go get some cups for it so you can just pour it in your cup and just drink it, you know. Who would want something like this? Let me know in the comment section if you want to order one of these. I promise you. You're going to get your money's worth. It's not going to cost that much. This is not a hundred and something dollars to pay on, y'all. I promise you. So let me know if you want one of these, and I will be glad to help you get one. Listen, my husband tried to get one, y'all. Um, and they was talking about, this other company was talking about um, they want to do a credit check. This pe These people did not do a credit check or anything, y'all. So I'm telling y'all, this is a great deal. Let me know in the comments section, and I will hook you up. Okay. So back to what I was talking about. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, My microphone wasn't hooked up, so I was like, let me go ahead and get it hooked up. And I was right on my comments. Now I'm not like, where did y'all go? What, who told y'all y'all can leave? Who told the comments to go where they want to go? Y'all know I be goofy sometimes. That's just me. But anyway, I'm like, they just gone. Like, 
I got to go in here and go to my other channel just to find those comments. But anyway, um, the steamer, like I said, is the way to kill them on contact. The alcohol is the way to, um, you know, kill them over time and the baking soda as well. What you do with the alcohol, you just spray it on top of your carpet because you want to make sure that you are getting every one of those eggs. Um, and also the, um, baseboard of your rugs, you go around the cracks and crevices of your rug and you just want to put that baking soda down. Okay. I'm telling you that stuff is the icing on the cake and the cherry on top. Okay. So that is why I'm telling you, listen, this is automatically, you want to get rid of them. You're going to get rid of them. Okay. Um, because I haven't had them and I'm telling you every time I tell you on these videos, you can get rid of these bed bugs because I am living proof. I have gotten rid of them. I don't have them anymore. And I'm so, so happy about that. Excited, if you will. Um, and that's why I'm here to help you all to get rid of them because listen, they bite you. They, they have your family complain. And that was one of the biggest things that really hurt my feelings is when my family would come in and say, I got bit, I got bit, I got bit. And I'm like, oh man, again. So that means that I have to go in here and steam their rooms out, all of this stuff. And listen, I wasn't lazy with it. I wasn't, I had to get in there. I had to do it, y'all. Whenever time they tell me I got bit, my husband say I got bit, anything, it would hurt me more for them to tell me that they got bit than if I got bit. Because I'd be really mad, you know, like, no, you're messing with my family now. I can't have you messing with my family. So um, I would just go in there and do what I had to do with Steve. Y'all, we're going to get to the comments on today. But listen, I'm going to tell you exactly how to get that steamer. Go down in that de um, description. This is the first way to get rid of them. And this is how you're going to get rid of them totally, completely. Finito, they're gone. Um, get your hands on that steamer, which will be down in the description. My Amazon affiliate link. And also the handheld. This is going to be the handheld steamer. And also the floor steamer that you can steam your carpets with. And also... That is a 10 in one and it has a mop on it. Listen, if you are just watching the videos, you're wasting your time. I'm telling you how to get rid of these bed bugs and you want to go ahead and get your hands on that steamer. Go down in that description. I will have it down there linked below for you. Um, also, the baking soda and the alcohol. You can get all of those. And also, if you want to order anything else off of my Amazon affiliate link, you are so welcome to do that as well. Um, and I also have my store in there as well. So please go in there and check it out. I have an Avon store that you can check out. You can buy shoes, clothes, jewelry, anything, perfume, cologne, whatever you want. That's why I have that link there as well. So go ahead down there and get what you need on today. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do these shout outs real quick. Let's go to, let's see. The first shout out goes to Ruben Le Lazo. If I'm saying this wrong, please charge it to my head and not my heart. But shout out to you for leaving this comment. And the comment says, thank you for your, thank you for the help. Even if I pay the cheapest steamer from Walmart, will it work? Yes, that steamer from Walmart will work. But listen, you don't have to go to Walmart because I'm going to have it linked right there. All you got to do is push the button and you can get your hands on that steamer. Okay, um, so do that on today. I'm going to go ahead and give you a heart just for taking out the time to go ahead and um, take your time out and just leave me a comment because you don't have to do that. And the next shout out goes to, ooh, a, a Carrado a Bacula. Listen, please forgive me for this if I'm not pronouncing your name right. But how do I steam the walls or do I just spray with the alcohol and baking soda. Listen, I'm telling you exactly what to do. Go around the edges of the carpets and, and put the baking soda down. And then you go in the middle part of your carpet with the spray bottle alcohol. That is how you do that. I'm going to go ahead and give you a heart as well. And let's see, we have Doggy3. I love the serious look you give to the camera at the beginning. LOL. LOL. <laughs> got to be serious with y'all sometimes but sometimes I like to be goofy because I want y'all to be happy out there I want y'all to smile I want y'all to be happy because there's so much ugliness going in the world we need to smile and be happy on today um also shout out to you again doggy three um this shout out goes to Pavel K 
Um, please forgive me if I'm not pronouncing these names right. God bless all good people. I love you, good people. The characteristics of God in all of us. Thank you for that comment. And I'm going to give you a heart and shout out to you as well again. I love you guys. Thank you all for joining me again on Me Talk. Please, if you don't mind, watch these um, ads through. Please. Y'all are supporting me. And I really appreciate everything that you do. Thank you for every time you get the steamer for it. And whatever you do down there. Somebody went and got something that doesn't even pertain to the steam or anything but thank you so much you did get on my link i really appreciate that so much thank you for watching the videos all the way through if that's what you're doing i really appreciate that god bless you all be blessed and i will see you in my next video